What a view, right? Hey guys, welcome back with Mark Jackson. Let me cut you off at the pass. I know what you're thinking already. Why didn't you go and get the Thunderhelm? Don't worry, we will. Uh, it didn't occur to me to grab the son of a gun. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure I'm going to get some flack for that in the comments. Anyway, welcome back for some more Zelda Breath of the Wild. I didn't want to go back and do it right away because it took some effort to get to where we are. And I've got some important things to show you. Number one is, find ourselves a Korok seed. I'd, I'd like to do a better job of the map to show you where it is. But uh, can't at this juncture, obviously, because we don't have it. And at number two, climbing up here so we could paraglide down to that tower. Hopefully we can make it. I found this. Memories. I don't know the words of that song. Yes, the Boost Mobile. What is this one going to afford us? I think this is memory... Uh, I think we've got four to go after this. So I'm going to shut up and... Let's see what we got going on. That cut doesn't look too bad, actually. You're fine for now. But you know, there's a fine line between courage and recklessness. As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. <laughs> it seems that not only is the frequency of these types of attacks on the rise, but the scale of beasts we are facing is intensifying as well. I fear that... I fear that this is an omen which portends the return of Calamity Ganon. And... If that's the case, I'm ready to expect the worst. We'll need to make preparations as soon as possible. We're going to have to watch all these in order at some point in time. Maybe I'll cut a video with when I get all of them. I'll just cut a video with all the uh, all the memories right in order. Which I'm sure 100,000 people online have already done. That was kind of the, the least entrancing memory of them all. Oh well. We got it. Want to complete as much of this game as we can. Again, I'll admit to you, though I don't have any intention on rushing it, I'm not going to 100% this thing. There's no way. Alright. Now let's try and get over this tower. And then I want to... Ooh, that looks interesting. Over, over there to the right. Uh, like the pink tree area. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go explore there after we get the tower, if we can get there. And it looks like we can. Thank God for stamina. But yeah, that looks like something interesting. This whole thing looks like something interesting, too. Like, a whole battlefield that we might have had to fight through in order just to get to this tower. Yeah, but I did not want to go back and get the Thunderhelm until I had a... Uh, a fast travel point here. That's the reason why. Woodland Tower, huh? Well, let's get up there. You're gonna have to break out the climbing gear for the... No. No, this is not gonna be a problem at all. No issue to it. Let's move. Get some stamina back right here. Oh, I think we're doing well with our uh, with our hearts, especially our stamina as well. All right, let's get some minutes for the phone and a map. <coughs> Sorry, guys, can't shake this cold. Interesting tower. It's got a big skull on it. No doubt, down below was going to be a significant battlefield, but we get to we get to skip that. I'm glad for it. So, we can always fast travel back here. Yes, give it to us. Yeah. Pull one out. Minutes restored. And that still doesn't allow me... To, yeah, see, that's... 
interesting right there. I want to go to the center of that. I also want to get the Thunder Helm because I know people are going to give me crap about it if I don't. But, that looks interesting. Do I have a... Yeah, one pin. More pins, game. More pins. Um, is there... Probably not the best way to do things, but... Let's clear the water, and then we can talk about... Yeah, I want to explore this area. Thunderhelm can wait. Whoa. What the... Was I not supposed to do this? Whoa. It... It flat out wouldn't let me in. Um... And we heard the little cork noise. Um... Yeah. Um... Start a little bit on the outside, maybe try and go in on foot. I'm a nice person. I see. Is it going to do it again? Don't kick me out, please. Um. Lost Woods. Why did it kick me out? Nice. Oh, hell no. No, we're getting flat out denied. Or, no. Well, not this time. We got torches? I... I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> At all. I, I do remember, of course, the Lost Woods. You're, you're pretty much supposed to be lost, but... What the hell? Oh, oh, oh. Um, I'm just trying to follow the torch. Sorry, guys. I'm so... What? Oh, wow. It's making a... St if we don't... What? If we don't quote-unquote go the right way, we get kicked out. We got to start... So this is some kind of strange trial. Huh. All right, well... Maybe killing the local wildlife isn't a bad idea... Or isn't a good idea either. All right, so we got a torch there. And a torch here. Where's the next one? That's where we came from. Maybe avoid the mist? I'm not certain... Yeah, yeah, avoid the mist. Got it. Got it. Alright, I don't know how many times this is going to take, but I am very, very curious to see what's going to be at the end of the... at the end of the line here. I don't get the... the feeling that... the, the powers that be here in the Lost Woods are hostile. So we've got that torch. We've got... The torches are obviously keeping the mist away. Maybe I should be carrying a torch? Maybe I can't proceed any further without a torch? Maybe that's my problem. Maybe there's a torch laying on the ground back where we first start and I, I, and I fail to see it. That could be it. We got this part of the thing accomplished. Yeah. Lots of progress in this episode so far, Mark Jackson. Moron. Is there a torch hiding around here? Doesn't appear to be. We have to knock down a tree or something to make it 
make a campfire. I'm either I want to take a look around and see. Let's make sure that there isn't one. Could be necessary equipment. Yeah, maybe we won't get to uh, the Thunder Helm this episode. I don't know how long this is going to take. All right. Let's just unzip our flies and go for it. Torch, torch, torch. Seems like a big, fat dead end. That's what it seems like to me. Unless... Do some... No? I was hoping for a burning branch. There's a torch off there in the distance. Some tells me we're going to restart it if we go this way. No? Got some life in us. The fog comes and wants to consume us. Yeah, I'd... Uh, huh. See, if I run into that fog, I'm in trouble, aren't I? That's gotta be... It's gotta be the case. Gotta be the case. Alright, test the theory. No, not this time. Oh, get us to, get us there. Get us there. Nice, nice, brother, nice. Where the hell are we going now? I think I'm gonna get a save together right here, guys. <laughs> Be honest with you. Ah! Well, hell. Uh, at least it sorted us out here. Do we have to keep, like, just playing around with the fog and going the back? I... Wow, this is so odd. I'm sorry to share my frustrations with you. It's not going to just let us steamroll through this, is it? Is it question is the trick to move quick? No. No, we gotta calculate this. Huh. Another try, I suppose. Let me go around the f Stay out of the thick thicker wisps? Oh, 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 oh. Well, attempt number 5,000, guys. Uh, God, this is... Oh. Lost in the woods! Literally! Ooh, animals, maybe... Oh. No, shit. That's all I need is a shrine indicator right now. Oh. No. Um. Yeah, this is... What choice have we? Let's do it this way. Um, uh... Yeah, sorry for cutting the video, guys. I, I, I tried... I, I didn't want you to see me have to restart this whole damn thing, like, 80,000 times in a row. And this is probably like attempt number 12. What do we have here? Are we out of danger? What is this? Oh, look at all the coraks. A cork for, well, cork for, uh, stand a reason. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my, I'm, I'm, I'm having a Zelda, Zelda gasm, Zelda gas. Oh my God, look at this. What's? And then there's a shrine nearby too. I, I'm gonna have to find that shrine this episode, guys. I want to be able to fast travel back here to my heart's content. What? Silent princess. Look at this. Oh, please tell me we can have it. Oh no, it's gonna. Link. Oh, cool. You are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Who is that? Oh, hey, what's up, old buddy? Again. Well, well. It's you. You finally decided to return. Please just let us have Better it. Better late than never. After 100 years, I'd nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. This might be the most fruitful I episode. I hope so. I've watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. Yes, we know your name. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness. That Triforce. That only the chosen knight can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, it was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. Let me guess, we can't have it. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. <laughs> <laughs> weakened state, got it. Best of luck, young one. Okay. We can stay. Well, we are missing a quarter of a heart. Let's, uh... Let's make sure, huh? Let's do that. Um... They like them apples. Oh, it doesn't count my... Um, I'm not even concerned about the meter, guys. Just do or die. We're gonna get it or we're gonna die. <gasps> da -da -da -da. Why do I get the feeling this game just started? Oh man, I feel like a kid again. All the way back to Link to the Past when you first pulled that thing out. Your master will come for you. Until then, you shall rest safely here. Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories, please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, Princess? The Ma 
lost a sword. I heard it speak to me. It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you, when he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I... Now then, words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? Yes. Yeah, I know I was quiet. Anything that I could have said, anything I could have said would have just spoiled the moment. Yeah, wait, our inventory is full. What you just saw happened where you stand 100 years ago. Deduce that, brother. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring it here where she knew that it would be safe under my watch. She continues to fight, trapped deep within the confines of Hyrule Castle. Her heart cascades with faith that you will return. She has a smile like the sun. I would do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. Chosen hero. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so another unbreakable weapon, but Uh, well, absolutely. <sighs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry to electrocute all of you. Oh, God, and then Hestu's right there. And then we got a shrine somewhere around here. Oh, we get to expand our inventory. Guys, I gotta... I gotta, I gotta pause for a minute, get up and walk around with that. I can't even speak with this grin on my face right now. I mean, I played all the Zeldas all the way back to the original NES, but Link to the Past was my favorite. And pulling that Master Sword out in Link to the Past, that... That was hard to beat in my video gaming uh, lifetime. That right there just matched it. That was something. Anyway, I'll be right back. Ugh. I'm still pumped up about it. All right, Hestu. It's on now. Oh, excuse me, guys. Shakalaka! I do believe I promised to... to find this guy in the previous episode, in the next... Wow. Was sidetracked by the Thunderhome? Yes, I have. Weapon stash. All right, one time.
Da na 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 na. I'm so pumped right now. Weapon stash. All right, guys. You know what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the. Uh, I'm going to cut the video. We're going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot for one bow and a couple of shields, but as much weapons as I All can. All right, our buddy has to in the master sword pla uh, plaque or altar or whatever you want to call it is right down there. Right over here is that shrine that was bleeping away. So we're going to do that so we can fast travel back here anytime we want at least to get some more goodies from Hestu. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to bring you up to speed. We got four weapon slots opened up. Uh, four weapon slots, two bow slots, and two shield slots. So, yeah. And uh, that's got to go into storage at some point in time or another. Maybe I should have got more shield slots. I don't know. But I'm happy with what we got. Anyway, how to end the episode. Let's do it by getting one point closer. And I think there will only be one point left after this. To another upgrade. And we have to lock down this shrine. I don't want to go through that mazy Lost, Wood puz Lost Woods puzzle again. That was kind of a pain in the butt. Took me enough time to figure it out. Nothing's been easy in the Lost Woods, by the way, guys. Uh, shit. Doesn't look like this is going to be easy either. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to skip this. I'm going to actually read it. Maybe there's some instructions. I kind of feel bad that I used that meal for all those extra yellow hearts when they didn't even count. To the stars for guidance, the constellations are the key. Alright. Constellations right there. Constellations there. Constellations there. Let's get a slow pan of the room. See if there's anything on the ceiling. Uh, it doesn't appear to be. That's one, two, three, four, five. Just trying to sort this out. One, two, three, four, five. So. Constellation, constellation. So. So we're referencing that to that and that, I guess. And the number of values. Each one of these represents a one two three four five represents uh yeah each one of these pits represents a um a numbered value for the the assigned constellation four balls four slots one two three four five choices thinking guys sorry I, a little bit stumped one, two, three, four, and five. Total ten. Two bones. What if... Alright. Alright, let's start with one constellation. How many times do we see that... One, two, three... Is it the exact one? One... Because they're flipped around. I see references to all of them. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five of the little ones? Go in there. Whatever the blue means, I was right. Or, all right, now let's take a good look at this one. One, two, three, I see three of that one there. Let's look again. One, two, three. Yeah, 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 pretty sure. All right, so assign the third value. One, two, three. 
Third value by the lights, I'm going to assume. So five and three. Did that do anything? No. All right, let's take a good long look at this. This one here is really screwy looking, so we should be able to see it pretty easy. I only see one. Looking, looking. Yeah, I only see one. All right. Number one value. And then finally, that one should be one, two. Yeah, I only see two. Bottom left, upper middle right. So only two. Pick it up and assign that into value number two. Oh, come here. Come here, bro. Well, hell, that wasn't too bad. Okay. All right, let me take you through this real quick so, so you know clearly what I was doing. All right. So you have to... There are the constellations of the wall right in front of me. Um, I wouldn't call it a primer, but that's your reference. You count how many of the light constellations, like number one, and you count how many of those constellations are are apparent on the uh, on the primer. I'll just go with primer right now. And then you assign the value via the light. So in this case, with number one, there are five of those constellations. There were five of those that we could see up there. So we put the ball in the fifth spot. And then with this constellation, there were three that we could see up on the wall. So we put it in the third spot by reference to the lights. And so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, pretty easy. Pretty easy. Do we have more? It doesn't look like it. Do we have chests or hidden loot? Because I've got a whole bunch of inventory slots now that I'd like to... Actually, I'd like to keep freed up, to be honest with you. Um, well, we have that. Um, I don't want to take the... Okay, I get it. What if we... So, what... All right, now, in order to open that one, we have to do the same thing. We'd have to go back and do the same thing. Yeah, and assign all different values. So... But I'm not going to bother with it. I don't I don't care what's in there. I honestly don't. I'll come back, get it later. But yeah, that's just running back and forth. What I would do is take a screenshot of that, you know, throw it on my second monitor and uh, and do it that way. We're going to be back here plenty of times, so... I won't forget that one. This is our crux rune shrine to get back into the to get back into the cork forest. Number three. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. God. Von Hesu got the Master Sword. To hell with the Thunder Helm. We'll do that in the next episode. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, this one has been fruitful as hell. I think this is where I'm going to leave it. I've been Mark Jackson. I hope you enjoyed Man. Chosen. Well, wait, wait. We got something. What is this? Time has come. You're not ready to test your limits of your car. You're going to throw us... And we, the trial, trial of the sword. It's a DLC. I can't guarantee. Yeah, we're not going to do that even in the next episode, guys, because uh, I know I'm going to catch hell for not getting the Thunder Helm. Definitely want the Thunder Helm. Any of you guys, any of you corks hiding around here, going to give us some seeds or what? All right, so we got the shrine. We got the Master Sword, we got the inventory, 
We got the upgrades. We're doing well. Very fruitful episode, uh, if not a little bit clunky. Sorry for the cold, guys, and, and all the cuts. Anyways, I've been Mark Jackson. I'll talk to you later. See ya.